OBS hates this. Okay, there we go. We have some sort of introduction. I don't know what's going on exactly. Except I'll sacrifice Herald of Divine Will. Bunch of spooky people. Who are they sacrificing? To kill a god. I guess we'll find out. I said this product does not represent the final version of the game, obviously. The demo. Okay, so... Interact the sword at the center of the stone circle when you're ready to leave. You can change the keybinds for your skills here, okay. Okay, we have a dash. <clears throat> we have just arrows, a bunch of potions, a very Diablo-like... A uh, healing ball. There's a directional arrow. I do stop when I am shooting. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, can can I have the uh, the tutorial back? There is no working button in this game. I think I just drink a healing potion or something. I don't know. Hey. Oh man, this is a shop and everything. Dude, I... Okay, I'm already into this. Okay, well, I don't know what's happening, so let's just... Select one of the four starting skills. This decision may affect the nodes you can go into the future. Just wisely, you can only pick one of the four starting skills. Okay. After selecting, I know you can see all the info about it on the left side panel. You can only go to nodes which are available. <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's see the skills that we have. Dragon Roar. Does want to call damage. 1.48 attacks per second. Channeling the ancient power of the dragon answers so the character summons dragons frost unleashing icy blast in a wide area. Enemies are frozen momentarily, significantly slowed, leaving them vulnerable. Okay. Converts physical damage to cold. Add the chilling freeze chance 50%. Requires 15 days. Dude, this is part of exile. Holy shit. You have lightning burst. Also, burst a several arrow in a cone, converts all base physical damage into cold. Adds uh, physical damage converted to lightning. Wait, is it converted to lightning or to cold? I don't get it. Probably that's a typo, right? Adds shock chance, okay. We have explosive shot. And we have Bane of the Abyss. A single big blade that creates a vortex at the aim position, dealing damage over time. I'm gonna go lightning strike. So, <clears throat> we have basic passives. Okay. Available nodes. Okay, we have crossroads. Can we, um, we see a crossroad anywhere? Once you pick a direction, you're locked in. I see. Notables, actives. So that's a notable. Okay. That's an active. And then there's a boss. I don't understand this, so I'm just gonna pick one and see what happens, okay? I'm gonna... That was surprisingly easy, and we get Lightning Burst. Okay, so I see. Now we have to pick a direction and we cannot backtrack, I'm guessing.
But we can do some weird loop to loop, I suppose. Frost arrow. I don't know what's um I don't know what's gonna work well with my uh lightning arrow. Right rift blaster shotgun. Okay. Burning arrow. That would have been smart. Oh but you can't get there easy, okay. Well, I mean, technically, we can also go up here. Arrow barrage. Using shot. Lighting arrow. Okay. Right. We can, uh, we can figure something out here. Okay. I see. So this is my AoE. That's not bad. I mean, it doesn't do nearly as much damage as my normal arrow, but... Easy peasy. Ooh. Choose an item and a passive skill. Okay, so... Increase physical damage, increase strength, increase intelligence. This it restores your health and refills at the cost of giving up the items. I see. Right, level 3 and 30 dex. Or armor. Increase armor. Increase attack speed. Avoid being poisoned, equip an evasion, add a chance to avoid shock, increase max mana, max evasion, add mana, okay. I mean, the bow is nice, but uh, we don't have 30 decks, so... I'm gonna get physical damage in the gloves. Do we have uh, settings? Hold on. Yeah, there we go. Music is very loud. Actually, everything is very loud. Uh, let me just... There we go. Screen shake damage number, that's fine. Okay. Right. Uh, mm. Could get that. What is that? Ball horde of monster grows stronger. We see Mimada. The skill enhancer to combine an active skill with up to four support. Oh, inventory allows me to assign attributes per level up. Do I level up every time I complete a level? Attack speed evasion, crit multi, melee attack, spell, mana, health. So, I'd like to have some health. I already have the gloves, that's good. Okay, I'd like that. Can I, uh, there we go. Passive node utility. Go up there. Okay, so when they are electrified, they take extra damage from normal hits. An intelligence shard. What is that? Oh my god, they do so much damage. It is unbelievable. What? Fizz to fire support. I have skill gems. Dude. I'm gonna get boots, I'm gonna get some crit chance. Alrighty, I think... A 
I think I'm gonna do something a little weird here. So we either grab two utility or we grab a skill enhancer. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But we do grab other things along the way. We also go this way and then down around here. And get chain lightning as well. Chain lightning though? Fuck. Alright, fine. Whoa! Okay, we have a problem. probably heal my potion <gasps> oh sucks eggs dude okay oh god that guy oh okay that's good Reduce attack, cooldown, support. Require skill tag attack. Okay. Mana multiplier 100%, cooldown multiplier 50. So I attack faster. Increase max HP, increase movement speed, increase strength. I'm going to increase my movement speed. Ooh, we have an exotic belt. Increase elemental damage. Okay, I'll take the, the legendary... Dream Shaper. And some movement speed. Why not? I probably should have... Um... Oh my fucking god, dude. That guy... I am so fast, I literally have no excuse to get hit by these guys. I really don't. Okay. <laughs> okay, time to get a new bow, I think. Projectile speed, increase weapon attack speed, add a maximum bleed. Uh, add crit chance, health burn when dealing fire damage. Chill and freeze. Yeah, I'll take that. Um, max health and max mana. Plus one frenzy charges. <laughs> Dude, frenzy charges? What are you talking about, frenzy charges? <laughs> this copyright infringement of some sort. <laughs> I'm gonna get defensive though. I'm gonna get movement speed innovation. Lost the bow. I'm gonna add a bunch of points in strength and dexterity. Which allows me to equip the new bow. I need level 7 for the belt, but that's okay. Dude, I... That was good. Dark speed is getting decent. What are those things? Okay, there's a... There's a weirdo. I see what's going on now. I want to rest at some point because pots don't recharge. 
I'm fine, dude. Don't you worry, I'm okay. Uh, that's worse. Trigger skill on dash. Okay. Active skill is a 25% chance of being triggered when you finish dashing. I like that. I like the idea of having that. And increase dex. Uh, so can I... How do I get out of here? Can I not go to the... Um, the merchants or something? Is that something that happens after I lose? The merchant is a node? Oh. Oh, I see. The skill enhancer is what we need. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. I'll, I'll be fine. I'm not gonna be fine. just happened defeated by an archer huh but there was only the the the, the, the potion thrower alive what the fuck just happened Was that like a trap on the ground? But like, if that was a trap on the ground, um, it's impossible to see when your screen goes black and white. Because you're on low life. So if that's what happened, that needs to be fixed. Oh, they rotate the the skills. Wait, is everything randomized every time? Oh, flipping heck, dude! I'm not even gonna. Okay, well. Okay, I'm gonna have to pay more attention and be a little bit more careful. Okay. Uh, literally doesn't matter. Let's try the skill. Did I do no damage whatsoever? I think the skill might be glitched. Does damage like I don't know. I I'm not sure how this works. What? Dude, that is super buggy. I think. 
Or I need to read that better, but... Is that supposed to do? Throw a single big blade that creates a vortex at in the aim position, dealing damage over time in an area with added chance to cause bleeding. The skill can be enhanced using support. Attacks per second. Should do damage every time it ticks. But it doesn't. Ooh. You have the stats for it? Dude, if the basic, like, starting skills... ...need stats, there's something wrong with the game. But you see it does damage sometimes. Was right on the tooltip and you'd level up when you got the first skill. But then why would it do a little bit of damage? Sometimes. Oh, that's something weird to me, but but that's probably something that we should look into. That acquires uh fifteen decks ten strength. I mean we do have that. We do have the stats, it just doesn't work. It works only sometimes. Oh, that barrage is not what I thought it was. That's no barrage. That's GMP, dude. Look, they're sitting in that thing forever. And even the, the stacks of bleeding they should be doing. Like, you can see they, they're ticking. But they don't do damage. I think it might just be broken. Reduced area. Intelligence, evasion. Okay, take that. Increased movement speed, I suppose. Oh wait, that's barrage. What was this? Triple shot. I thought that was the diff a different oh man. These icons are so similar. Okay, if I go the other way. This is gonna take forever, and then I don't think we can loop around, can we? Can I do this and then end up here, or do I get stuck and I lose the game? One way to find out. My hit chance sucks. Oh my fucking god. Dude, that guy was in the circle for like five minutes. He didn't take any damage. Uh, 
we need a bow. Increase face damage, increase crit hit multiplier. Increase fire damage, chance to burn with any fire damage. Added fire damage with spells. I'll take the bow and fizz. Sometimes it hits, sometimes it doesn't. Okay. Maybe damage is too low to overcome the resistance, I think. But then why take... When it takes, it does the, the damage it says it should do, you know? Like, it says it does 3 to 5, and every, when sometimes it happens, it does 3 to 5. Looks like only the initial sickle is dealing damage. Yeah. <clears throat> it does save physical damage per second though. Attacks per second 1.76. So you should attack twice per second basically. Almost. And add a chance to cause bleeding as well. Which is not quantified in the skill but... It should do that. Skip was one shotting enemies for me when I upgraded it. Don't know what to say. Might be bugged. What just happened? Dude, why am I getting hit by invisible things? You figure it out, let me know. <laughs> that is so weird. That was also Digma who started the run at three hours ahead of your way. Weird game design. This game, I mean, interesting concept, but so far I have to say the. Um, uh, the implementation seems a little lacking.
I wonder if I'm getting hit from off screen by invisible arrows because the enemies are off screen. It's not consistent, it's like one time. It does a one times seven damage, I think. See? That did three and then ticked five times and did zero damage. It's very easy to see on this guy because he's actually stand still for a long time, see? You see multiple sevens because it's hitting multiple enemies. That's that's the whole thing. <laughs> uh, I think it's time to have a rest and get barrage. You're talking about invisible damage. Does it do invisible damage? Oh, the one I am taking? Yeah, the one I'm taking does like seven damage multiple times. See? Like that. No idea what that did. It's like they're casting some sort of skill and then... Uh I'm just getting hit. Out of nowhere, apparently. Either that or some of these uh, potions are not disappearing when they should, maybe. But then again, it said the archer was doing the damage and killed me, so that... That couldn't be. Oh, I don't have any support skills? Step into the ball to see how much damage it does. Eh, I'd rather not. Uh, why can I not? There we go. Beef tea decks. Get to 50 decks to get one extra projectile. And 30% accuracy. Dude, the double arrow is huge. That should have disintegrated them and instead it did basically next to nothing, dude. Well, the extra arrow was colossal. Increase range attack speed. That sounds really good. At the same time though, crit chance, crit hit multi, accuracy in poison res, armor on evasion, armor damage dealt, leech's life? Okay, I think I need that. Let's take a little bit of leech. Will do me good. Oh yeah. Do 
Dude, I'm getting stronger. The life leash was really, really strong. Skill echo. Let the skill repeat one more time when cast. Okay. Too bad all my skills suck. Uh, 24 DPS versus a 41 DPS. I'll take the bow. Okay, so there we go. When you loop around, you can basically go to the remaining place. That's very good. I can craft a skill now. Holy chain lightning. I love that. Mana cost 19 versus 9, so that's the big difference. Yeah, but it does like 2.5 more damage, so I think the Chain Lightning is still superior. I would love to get into Poison, though. Poison Flask. Increase po Oh, we can even craft um, Support Gems. Uh, let me see. I have a feeling chain lighting is going to be insane. What is um? Is that red? I guess that's red. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. Thank you. And uh, while we're at it, increase lightning damage. Sounds like a solid plan. But for now, let's just see where we go with this one. Can I go back to the skill enhancer now? Oh, we do have another skill enhancer coming right up. So, it might be a good idea to. Oh, never mind. I, I left that place and it's gone forever. Good to know. What is that thing? Is that a mirror? I don't have a helmet. Okay, I don't have boots. Oh my god, I instantly got multi- Are you shitting me, dude? That was some colossal bullshit. I literally spawned in and I got hit by five different invisible debuffs. I think it's the flask doing it. It is. So there is a problem with the flasks and how they uh, appear in the game, I guess. Thirty-four int. I don't think that's gonna happen. Uh, personal rare reward choices once per room. Yeah, that that'll do. Uh, rare helmet, increase evasion, resistances. Okay, that. Pain. Well, they do need a helmet. Do I not have a? Uh, I do have hunter gloves.
projectiles from active skill chain to targets nearby. Projectile chains to three additional enemies. Okay, I need chain support. And I'll tell you why in a moment. What is that? Oh my god. Dude. Chain lightning is crazy. And I think that guy has absolutely invisible skills. I need more beer. <laughs> okay, a ring, which we, uh, we have one ring, but we can wear two. Use attack cooldown, not bad. Missing one level and three int. Fire resistance, fire damage, lightning res, chance to poison. And did impose damage accuracy. Not that good, to be honest. Reduce attack cooldown seems... I don't know, actually, if that seems good or not. Uh, how about my gloves, though? How the gloves... What do you mean 41 DPS, my gloves? Okay, 5 evasion. That, that was just a typo. It's just literally better attack speed. Less resistances. That sucks. Gonna reroll. Okay. Boots I can deal with. Increase armor. Increase strength. Increase fire damage. Reroll. Uh, increase max health. Sounds about right. Skill enhancer. Yes. Okay, so... If I... Attach. Chain to my triple shot. All the arrows are gonna hit more targets. I don't know if that's true, but I'll try that out and see how it goes. Okay, next, uh... Lightning arrow... I want the poison. But it doesn't seem like... What's that? Skill crafter. Well, we have to go there anyway, so let's begin with that. Let's see the chain. I don't see the skill chaining. The skill is not chaining. I repeat, the skill is not chaining. They use the wrong one? There's no way. It's not chaining. It's just not working. This game is... Uh... <laughs> it's just broken, dude. The kill framework but needs a lot of work man that's not just a lot of work this needs divine intervention at this point bio weaver has a demo i have no idea what that is What's uh what's by your weird? Tell me about it. Tell me all about it. I think it is unfixable. Oh I see. By your prototype too. Yeah, nothing is unfixable, but like it needs a lot of time still. What do you mean fifteen points available? The 
they don't even know what's going on in their own game. Who is that guy? Who are these people? I think the best thing I can do is literally just use my main basic attack or the chain lightning. Chain lightning clear. I should have. I should have added chain to chain lightning. Let's see. After the previous publisher fucked up, they can't have gone self-publishing on my prototype 2, which is on it is just prototype 1, over years of added experience and called it Bioweaver. I see. Uh, I need that. I need a helmet, I suppose. That'll do. T trigger skill on crit. Okay, fine. I will fall for it. The fuck is that guy? Oh shit. Ooh. Fucking hell, dude. Okay, there's a... I don't know what's going on. Game skill not nest included just reminded me because my prototype is real fun about combining things. Yeah, it's like um it's like Noita basically. Okay, this guy is actually using skills. Oh fuck. Oh fuck a duck. Easy. Never mind. So more crits. More evasion? I need the skill enhancer. Okay, can I remove skills from... Uh... No, I cannot. Very right, good. We just skill on crit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, that seems like the right thing to do. I'm gonna add some intelligence now because I'm... I, I just want a little bit more mana, but...
Guys, I'm gonna let you in on a secret. Uh, not a single skill gem works in this game. races Riyadh is but moments away or so they say the fuck just happened Oh no wait, Chain Lightning actually activated on crit, okay. It does indeed work, never mind, I take it back. Some skill works, uh, some skill do work, okay. Some of them are okay. Prepare for battle. I am prepared. Okay. This guy is impossible to kill. For some reason, he's uh, heavily resisting all my damage. Oh, fucking hell. Hold it. Oh, sixty two damage, dude. That. It hurts. Okay, that didn't hit me. Uh, they need to fix this, by the way. The low life uh, screen is just horrible and confusing and makes everything hard to see. That's something I really hate in video games when the. Um when you get to low life and they, for some reason, decide to put like gigantic like effect on screen or like a jpg of a blood stain in your field of view like it's it's just not good okay so i think that's gonna be it for this one but um the verdict the verdict is this could be a lot of fun but it needs a lot of work a lot of work i think the loop is fine and it is actually quite fun. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, everything needs to be way, way smoother. Everything needs to be fixed. Everything needs to work. Uh, the skill have to connect properly. Damages have to be shown accurately. Uh, the puddle, whatever is doing the invisible damage. Uh, the skill not hitting, you know. It's, it's very, very beta. Uh, alpha, I would even say. 
but it does have potential. Okay, I'll give him that. I'll give that there is some potential in here. So yeah, that was uh, the demo of To Kill a God, heavily inspired by Path of Exile's skill tree and Path of Exile in general, I'd say. Uh, hopefully they will also add, um, you know, not a freaking archer, like a mage or a warrior or something like that, but 